Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the precipitation of silver sulfate. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is ferrous sulfate, also known as iron sulfate, silver nitrate, a watch glass spoon, and 100 milliliters of distilled water in this graduated cylinder. Begin by measuring out two grams of ferrous sulfate. Next, add your two grams of ferrous sulfate to 100 milliliters of distilled water and stir your solution until it's aqueous. Once your solution of iron sulfate is aqueous, add a little bit to your Petri dish. So now I'm gonna add drops of silver nitrate and you can see that it's clear to my aqueous solution of iron sulfate. And when I do that, this is a double displacement reaction where the metal ions trade places and the silver nitrate will create the precipitate of silver sulfate. So let's see what that looks like. Add some right in the middle. And you'll see that cloudy precipitate of silver sulfate right there in the middle form. So dramatic. Here's a close up of that silver sulfate starting to precipitate right out of the solution. Just beautiful. Just look at that amazing insoluble solid of silver sulfate. That is amazing. Here's the same reaction, only now in a Petri dish. Again, here's our silver nitrate. I'm just gonna add drops on my solution of iron sulfate. And you can see that precipitate silver sulfate form just immediately. Okay, so what's going on in this amazing double displacement redox reaction is you start out with the reactants, iron sulfate, that's the FeSO4, and silver nitrate, that's the AgNO3. Now, when those combine, the metal ions of iron and silver trade places, and they create the products, silver sulfate, that's the insoluble solid precipitate that you saw fall out of the solution that look kind of white, and of course, iron nitrate, which is soluble in water that remains in solution. Now this is also an oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction where the silver is being reduced, it's gaining electrons, and the iron is being oxidized in that it's losing electrons during this reaction. Well I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time.